All right, hi everyone. My name is Mike, I'm your coach today. I'm gonna to take you through this Why Thrive Home workout. Today we have Begin. This is a great workout if you're just starting out in your fitness journey. We'll give you some good fundamental movements to really get you using your body and moving your body really well. And then we'll do a little bit of cardio work as well. Just to get that heart rate up, work those hearts and lungs that you got at home. So let's start up by just warming up. Do forward arm circles. For today's workout, you could have a couple light handheld objects. It will help, or if you have a heavier, heavier one that you can hold with two hands, thinking like a backpack with a few books in it or something like that, that could even work really, really well. Okay, reverse that arm circle. Perfect. All right, let's reach down a little bit of a squat and come up tall. So squat and reach, here we go. And you can come shallow if you want and slow it down. This shouldn't be hard. We just want to warm the body up, get it ready to work. Perfect. And if you can now, just a shallow lunge and twist. And just another shallow lunge and twist. I always like twisting into the leg that's forward but do what feels comfortable to you. Nice small stride, nothing big. Perfect. All right, let's do a little bit of side to side movement here. So we're just gonna step and touch. You can add on a little bit of a reach if you want, just to create a bit of a twist. Hopefully your heart rate's coming up, starting to feel a little bit warmer. And then just jogging on the spot. Five seconds. Perfect. Okay, so for our workout, if you have a couple light handheld objects, I'm gonna role model using some dumbbells because that's what I have here at the, at the Y. Uh, but find something that works for you. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna be doing 45 seconds of an exercise and then I'll give you a rest break, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do first is called the thruster. So in a thruster, you're gonna squat as far as you feel comfortable and then stand up and press overhead. Great total body exercise. Very challenging. That's why we're doing it up front and doing it first. There we go. And like I said, squat as deep as you can, but it should feel good. Just make sure you're not shooting those knees forward. So it should look like this, where you're really sticking that bum back and down. You don't want to be shooting those legs forward. You don't want this, okay? Bum back. Three seconds. All right, rest. We're gonna do a second set of that. You can set your objects down if you want. But we get a 15 second break here and then we'll complete our second set. All right, perfect. Let's get going again. Second and final set of thrusters. So you don't have to hold back. You don't have to do any more of these today. I don't know about you, this one for me always comes down to breathing in my shoulders. But hey, we're all different. Some of you might find the squat the hardest part. It's all good. As long as you're working hard, you'll get lots of value out of this. Fifteen seconds, make it count, almost there. Five seconds, you can do this. All right, rest. Good news, we're done with those. Next up, we're gonna do some push-ups. Don't worry, I have lots of options for you. We'll get you going successfully with push-ups. Coming down to the floor, your first option is a tabletop. So on a tabletop, your hands are underneath your shoulders and a bit wider. 
If you're good with push-ups, just get started. Our 45 seconds is already going. Your next option would be to come out from your knees. And then of course, if you're comfortable, you can do it from your toes. Just realizing 45 seconds from your toes is a long, long time. So make sure you work at the ability level where you can control the form and it feels good. You will be trying, but I don't want it to hurt. Five seconds. Perfect. All right, take a breather. So if you found that too easy or too hard, just adjust. Um, find that form that's work, working for you, either tabletop, from the knees, or from the toes. And you can always take breaks if you need it to get there, okay? Final set of push-ups. I like nice and controlled pace. Really focusing on the contraction. Of course, this second set's always harder than the first. You're a little bit tired. 15 seconds is a very short break. Perfect. Almost there. Finishing stretch. Give me what you can. Five seconds. Get those final couple reps in. Perfect. All right. If you can grab those objects again, we're going to be doing some rowing. I'm going to show you from the side, just to make sure you get the posture right. On your rows, we'll start now. I want to make sure that you have a good neutral spine, good arch in your back, and you're able to pull towards your belly button. I don't want anything like this. That's really hard on your spine. So nice, chest is proud, shoulders are down and back, pulling it. Knees are soft. That's right, you got it. Perfect. So a bit of an endurance focus today. You notice those 45 second rests, or sorry, 45 second working periods are longer than some of our other begin workouts. So good for you, working on that endurance. Hopefully getting you more comfortable working out for a longer period of time in a row. Final few seconds. There you go. Take a breath. Enjoy your break. One set of rows. We'll move on to one core exercise, and then we'll give you a good break before we do our cardio segment. All right, back to work, let's get it. And if you're ever finding that you're doing it even with the light objects too much, just set the object down and work on even just moving your arms and feeling the contraction. There you go, 30 seconds. You got it. All right, finishing stretch. 15 seconds. Final five seconds. Give me a couple more reps. Make it count. Perfect, all right, good job. Enjoy your break. When you're ready, come down to the floor. We're gonna be doing a McGill hold. In a McGill hold, we're gonna really focus on controlling our abdominals. So place those hands underneath your back and get started if you already know what it is. It should look like this, one knee bent, coming up, controlling a little contraction here. By a little, I mean I'm not coming up a long way, just getting those shoulder blades off the ground and releasing. Completing that pattern over and over. The main thing is you don't wanna be applying much pressure to your hands. So it's a good signal. You don't want your lower back collapsing out. You wanna keep that arch there the entire time. So coming up, hold, release. Coming up, hold, release. Good work. Keep repeating that pattern. If you need this to be harder, you can always take both legs off the ground to give yourself more of a challenge. Or you could lengthen the time that you're contracting for. So let's say maybe think of it more of as an eight count and then release. Okay, rest. We have one set of those left. All right, back to work. This time I'll show it from the other side. And just do the other 
The other leg up, just for variety. So up, hold, release. Obviously, the longer the hold, the harder this is. Doing great. Fifteen seconds, almost there. Final strength exercise for today. Five seconds. All right, release. Okay, so we have now have four cardio movements. And what we're gonna do is each cardio movement we're gonna do for 30 seconds, okay? You still get another 30 second break. That means I'm giving you a full 45 second break here. Uh, for this, you don't need actually any equipment, so just make sure you have a good, clear, open space. We're going to be doing some side-to-side -side shuffles, some marching on the spot or high knees. We're going to be doing a movement where we reach down and touch up overhead that I call floor to ceilings, and then we'll do some inchworms to finish it off. So you have two minutes work, and then I'll give you a break, okay? Let's get started. Side shuffle. So just take a few steps each side. If you don't have as much room, and you just want to do one step, that's fine. I'm going to show two. Halfway through. So working on coordination, which isn't my strong suit. But hey, it's important. And getting our cardio, our heart rate up. There we go. High knees. If you really want to, you can bring it to a full run. You can even start with the run, and then when you get too tired, come down to this easier option. But remember, we gotta do two minutes of cardio in a row here, so pace yourself. There we go. Five seconds. Get it, finish strong. Floor to ceiling, you're gonna tip at the hip and reach up. Just come down as far as feels comfortable for you. I don't want you rounding or slouching that spine or upper back at all. To make this easier, just slow down. To make this harder, just speed up. 10 seconds. Great, final movement for today is called an inchworm. So just coming down, you can just come down to each knee. Come up forward, take your knees off the ground in a plank position, and then come back up and stand. Or, the more advanced option, walking out, standing tall. Walking out, standing tall. 10 seconds. We'll make this the last one. There you go, that's your cardio element. We're going to take a 30 second break here. If you were looking for more work today, what you can do is go back to that cardio segment and go through it a second or a third time if you like. But first, take this full second, uh, 30 second break before you do that, okay? I want you to catch your breath again and be able to do high quality work. Whew, those always get me, okay. So let's cool down now though. We'll take a couple minutes to do this. Start by opening up, nice chest opener. Begin to slow that breathing down, nice deep breaths. Bringing one hand across. Other side, same stretch. Great work today, everyone. Let's interlace those hands behind the back. Just try to get your hands as far away from your hips as you can. Obviously, just mild tension. This should just feel like you're opening up with the shoulders. All right, let's tip at the hip, but don't release your spine. By that, I mean it's like more like an L, L stretch. So if you think of it, 
I'm keeping my posture in my upper and lower back. I can support with my hands on my thighs and I'm really stretching out those hamstrings. Awesome. And then grabbing one thigh, stretching that thigh out. Same stretch other side. If you need to use something for support, that's totally okay. All right, nice. Reaching up for the sky, gentle back bend. So just arching back, staring at the sky. Feel a nice elongation through the abdominals. Keep breathing. Release. Give me three meaningful shoulder rolls. Breathing in on the way up, out on the way down. Releasing any tension. All right, great work today. That completes our begin workout.